Hi readers, this is Manish Chauhan from jagoinvestor.com. Welcome to this video tutorial. We are going to see how to calculate returns from your existing policies. These can be your endowment plans, money back plans, pension plans or a ULIP plan. It can be any plan where you are, pay, you are paying a yearly premium and you are getting some money at maturity or in between. So let's have a look at what all things we have in this tutorial. There are some points you have to remember. In this tutorial, we are going to use Microsoft Excel uh, for calculation purpose. So any cell where we are going to enter some value, uh, if you get some money in a year, you have to put positive value for that money. And if you are paying some money, you have to put a negative value. For example, in a year, if you are paying a premium of 20,000, the money is going out of your pocket. So in that case, you have to put minus 20,000, not positive 20,000. And in the same way, if you are getting say 50,000 rupees in a year, in some particular year, you have to put a positive 50,000. So these are two main things you should remember. And remember that this tutorial or is, is uh, considering that you are paying premium each year. There are four examples we will see in this tutorial. The first will be for a plain endowment plan where you get money back at the maturity, not in between. The second example which we'll look will be a money back policy where uh, you keep getting some money in subsequent years. Like you get some money in fourth year, then you get some money in say eighth year and like this. And at the end also you might get some money or not. That's, that's not a concern. And the third thing which we'll see is a sample pension plan where you pay some money in between in the start and you get a sub, get a pension for many years and at the end we'll have a quick look on a ULIP example which will give you an idea on how to calculate returns from your ULIP. So these are the four things we are going to cover in this tutorial. Uh, let's head towards the first tutorial. So the first example will be of an endowment plan. We'll see how to calculate the return from your endowment plan. Let's say for example, you have an endowment plan whose yearly premium is 35,000 rupees and the sum assured is 7 lakh rupees. The premium payment term is 20 years. And at the end of the term, you are going to get 12 lakh rupees, including the bonus. This is a very simple example. In this, you are just paying the premium and not getting back any money. It's a plain endowment plan. So in this case, uh, from your pocket, you will pay 35,000 rupees every year for 20 years. And at the end of the term, you will be getting 12 lakh inside your pocket. So anything which you pay will be termed as negative. Okay. So you have to put minus 35,000 for the first year, same for the second year. And it will be same up to 20th year. So you have to put minus 35,000 up to 20th year. This is because the money is going out of your pocket. And at the end, you will be getting 12 lakh rupees. So you have to put 12 lakh, positive 12 lakh at the end. And now just below that, you type equal to IRR. This is the formula. And put a bracket, starting bracket, and choose this whole range from first year till this point, till the end. And just press enter you will see that you've got the return as 4.89 percentage. Just make sure that the format of this cell is as percentage and up to two decimal point. Otherwise you will get things like uh, five or you know six, something like this. So in case it gives you five, uh, just go to that cell, right click, choose format sales and you can choose percentage and choose decimal up to two, uh, two places and you will get the exact percentage. So here you can see that uh, as for this policy, the return comes out to be 4.89%. For example, uh, what if your premium was 30,000 30, rupees per year? In that, in that case, you would have put just 30,000 per year. And if you choose this up to 20th year, you can see the IRR change to 6.22%. Now, 
this was a very simple example. The next example we'll see will be of an endowment plan. So let's see that one. So this is the second example of money back plans. In this plans, you get money every uh, every fourth year or every fifth fifth year. So let's say there is a policy of uh, 20 years in which you are paying a premium of 25,000 rupees with a sum assured of 5 lakh rupees and you are getting money back in 4th year, 8th year, 12th year and 16th year uh, which are as follows 40,000, 40,000, 40,000 and 60,000 and the total premium paying term is 20, 20 year rupees and at the maturity you will get total 6 lakh rupees. So in this case in each year you have to see how much is going out of your pocket so in the first year you will be paying 25,000 rupees so you have to put minus 25,000 rupees same thing will be there in second year and third year but in the fourth year you will be paying 25,000 rupees and you will be getting 40,000 rupees so in the fourth year your total money which is going to come in your pocket is 15,000 because you are paying 25,000 and you are getting back 40,000 so actually you are getting 15,000 so you have to put it as 15,000 here then in the fifth year again it is minus 25,000 same in the sixth year and seventh year and up to 20th year just that in eighth year it will be 15,000 in 12th year it will be 15,000 because you are paying 25 and getting 40 and in the 16th year because you are getting 60,000 rupees and you are paying 25 uh, the total will be 20, 35,000 rupees and just like this and at the end you will be getting 6 lakh rupees so you have to put 6 lakh here uh, at the last so now this is the uh, this is your actual cash flow from first year to 20th year. Now, if you put IRR and choose this range, this whole range, and press enter, you can get the actual return you got. So that will be 5.54% here in this case. So this is how we calculate IRR for uh, money back policies. So it can be any combination, whatever way you are paying and getting money, just make sure whatever money is going out of your pocket and that year, that will be put as negative. And if your, if your net income in that year is positive, you, you have to put it as a positive. So this is all uh, for this one. And the next, let's see the next one. So this is an example of an of a pension plan. Uh, here we will see that how to calculate uh, returns for any pension plan. It's a very simple example. In this example, uh, your yearly premium is fifty thousand rupees for next ten years, and after that you will get a pension of fifty thousand rupees a year for next fifty years. Sounds very exciting. So you pay fifty thousand for ten years, and then you stop paying the premium and for the next 50 years you get 50,000 per year sounds very exciting and many people fall for it and they think that this is an excellent plan and all but if you but IRR is a very cruel tool it will tell you exactly what it is so let's see what is the return for this so what you do here is you mark year from 1 to 60 you can see that uh, here I have put uh, years up to 60 so let's start in the first year because you are paying the premium of 50,000 you put minus 50,000 and you continue that up to 10 years so you have paid premiums for 10 years 50,000 and after this you keep on getting 50,000 rupees a year for next 50 years so just drag it till the 60th year total will be 60 years and now Let's see what is IRR. So you do I R R and then you choose the whole range starting from here till the first till the first year. And let's see. So you can see here that 
the actual return is 6.99 percentage now this was 50,000 rupees a year that is the reason why it was 6.9 but in in reality it is not so much generally it is it will be 40,000 rupees so let's say if it is 40,000 rupees or let's say uh, you pay premium for initial 10 years and for the next five years you don't get anything and from 15th year you get a, a pension till 60th year so you don't get anything in the 11th year 12th year 13th year 14th year and 15th year and from 16th year you start getting a pension up to 60 years so the total tenure is 60 years in that case you will see the total IRR is 5.43 percent so now you know how much returns pension plan generate you can can you can calculate it this way let's see the next one let's see one last example of a ULIP where you are paying a premium of 50,000 per year so you have paid premium in first second and third year and fourth year and then you took some money out in fifth year you didn't do anything in sixth year and then again paid for seventh year and eighth year and then they then just left that ULIP and at the twelfth year you withdraw all the money so if the premium was 50,000 so you paid 50,000 in first year uh, second year third year and fourth year and then in the fifth year you took out one like thirty thousand in sixth year you didn't do anything in seventh year again you paid fifty thousand so you have to put minus in eighth year again you put fifty thousand you don't do anything in ninth year tenth year and eleventh year and in the twelfth year you take out twelve uh, lakh rupees so now let's see what is the IRR for this. You can just go here and see IRR. And if we choose this range, you will say that you'll see that it says 23.32 percentage. So uh, whatever, however, is your ULIP and wh whatever years you have paid, you can calculate your in your returns in the same way. I hope uh, this tutorial was useful to, for you and you can calculate the IRR for SIPs or uh, your PPF payment or any payment where you have made a regular payment each year. So that's all for now. Um, thanks a lot for watching this video. Thank you.